Since the colonial government, Kampala has been Uganda's capital city. But as the population grew, there was increased pressure for service provision on Kampala. In order to ease the population pressure on Kampala, the government has resolved to create nine new cities by elevating some of the municipalities. These include Arua, Mbarara, Guru, Fort Porto, and Jinja in the first phase to become operational in 2020-2021 financial year. Mbara and Hoima will also gain city status in 2021-2022 financial year. Lira and Entebbe will become operational in 2022-2023 financial year. Officials at the ministry say studies are still underway on the viability of Moroto, Nakasongora, Soroti, Masaka, Kabare, and Wakiso being elevated to state status. However, the elevation will soon see government functions and ministries move to the newly created cities as part of the decentralization. In the future, as we grow and as our planners uh, try to widen the scope of planning, we should anticipate such benefits of certain ministries going to their respective cities. And at worst, the decentralization of the functions of certain ministries. For example, the Ministry of Internal Affairs, in as far as issuance of passports is concerned. Local government minister retired Kano Tombutime believes the move will decongest Kampala and create job opportunities for many Ugandans who have since been scrambling for social services in Kampala. So people have been coming all over from the rural areas where we all come from, all of them conglomerating in Kampala, is it? For services and jobs, etc. The minister adds that funding for these cities is going to be enhanced from what they were previously receiving from the central government. The proposed nine cities have been getting financing amounting to 111 billion after elevation to city status. They will require an additional 56 billion. Government also says the new cities will not affect mother districts but add more value in service delivery. However, development analysts warn that Ugandans should be prepared for more taxes to raise more money to sustain these institutions. It further implies that the tax bracket for a small businessman in Imbarara will be increased to match that of a city status. So we actually anticipate that creation of these cities will cause the existing small businesses to grow alongside with the cities and therefore taxation will also, because taxation is supposed to be fair. Jingo Francis, NTV.